Good morning. It is December 2nd, so it's day two of Vlogmas. I'm out down by the river this morning. I just got home from work. Well, I got home from work a couple hours ago, but now I'm taking the dogs for a walk. And um, I'm going to do a Christmas tag today. Um, the um, <laughs> I was tagged by uh, Solib Solibrate the Magic channel. Um, she uh, messaged me about a month ago with some Christmas Disney no not Disney sorry some Christmas questions so while I'm out walking I'll try and answer some I don't know how well this is going to go because I have Toby and Gus with me on their leashes but um, we're going to give it a go so um, so question number one is uh, what does the Christmas spirit mean to you so to me I think the Christmas spirit means um Focusing more on being kind. I mean, you should be kind every day. That's not um, exclusive to Christmas time, but I feel like spending the time to really go out of your way to be more kind than usual, help others that need helping, whether it be volunteering your time or donating um, um, your uh, like f donating food, donating time, things like that. Um, Spending time with family, really focusing more on how important family is. And again, it's not exclusive to the holiday season, but um, I find I focus more on wanting to just spend time with family and uh, the value that that brings um, and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> question two is um, a star, an angel, or another kind of Christmas tree topper. Um, to be honest, we actually don't have any topper on our tree at all. It was just something that we uh, never ended up owning at any time. So we have a little angel ornament and she sits close to the top of the tree. And we have a star ornament that also sits close to the tree, top of the tree. Um, but we don't actually have a Christmas tree topper at all. Uh, maybe one day, but at the moment we are topper free <laughs> on our Christmas tree. And then, oh, hang on. The dogs are all tangled. Toby, okay, what so are you doing, buddy? Three is, oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to do too many outside. It's about, it's only minus four today. It is not cold. It's sunny, but with the wind chill, it's about minus 10 and I'm holding my phone with my bare hands and my fingers are getting cold and the dogs are pulling. So I think this will be the last question outside and we're going to head home. Um, but question three is, as a child, did you ever um, look for Christmas presents? And if yes, were you ever caught? Um, generally speaking, I never did look for Christmas presents. I was kind of a goody two shoes, but I also really liked... Um, the element of surprise Christmas morning. There was one year, see if I can switch hands. Um, there was one year, I must have been about seven or eight, and it's the only year I ever looked for presents, and I found one in my mom's closet, and I was so excited because it was um, a musical instrument. We used to have like a play music box growing up so that uh, we could take our instruments and do we do like parades down the street and go to the park and like pretend we were in parades and stuff so i was really excited that we were going to get another instrument for our music box and then come christmas morning um it wasn't there and i was really disappointed and after that i really never went looking after that because i just didn't want that sense of disappointment and still to this day i'd rather be surprised um i don't want to know what i'm gonna get because then you might as well just go get it yourself. Um, you know we're I mean? back from our walk. There they are there on the couch, the two buggies. So I'm just boiling some water. I'm gonna make um, today's advent calendar tea, which is apple cider. I don't like apple cider generally, um, so I'm not sure what this tea is gonna be like, but we'll try it. Um, and I'm gonna keep going with the Christmas tag. So question four is Christmas Eve or Christmas morning? And we kind of do both. Um, um, growing up, 
we always used to have a special Christmas Eve. Um, my mom and dad both emigrated from England, so I grew up with uh, no family here in Canada, or very little family. Um, Christmas Eve, we always used to have kind of our surrogate family <laughs> come over. Um, they were in the same boat. It was another couple that had emigrated from England around the same time that my mom and dad did, and their two boys were in the same boat as uh, myself, my brother and sister, in that we didn't have grandparents and cousins and great vast quantities of family to spend time with. So Christmas Eve, they would always come over to the house. We'd um, have a fun meal. We'd play games. Uh, the parents would play cards. The kids would all play hide and go seek or um, watch Christmas specials, whatever. <laughs> oh, I forgot my list of questions. And then Christmas morning was always spent um, just the five of us at home growing up. Uh, Mom would always make baked French toast and if you remember, I don't even know if this thing still exists. Hi, Gussie. Um, but if you remember, like, the old TV guide magazines you used to get, excuse me, there was a recipe one year. I swear Gus thinks he's a cat. Um, there was a recipe one year um, by Sally Jesse Raphael for this baked French toast casserole. And my mom made it. I don't know how old I was. I must have been about four or five. And it was so good. And to this day, now, like 25, 30 years later, um, we all still make this baked French toast. Um, more our tradition now is we now invite um, my mom and dad and Dan's mom and dad and his sister to our house Christmas Eve. And we have dinner, whoops, and dinner at uh, Christmas Eve at our house. And then Christmas morning, we usually spend here so or I'm five working. Is in your personal opinion, are reindeer really better than people? Um, not having very much uh, experience with reindeer, I don't know how to answer that question. However, sometimes people can be pretty crummy, and the reindeer that I do know of, um, namely Rudolph and Sven, uh, they seem pretty cool. So I'm going to go with yes, reindeer are probably way better than people. <laughs> Have you ever gone caroling is question number six. And the answer is yes, I have gone caroling. Um, there was, I don't know, maybe eight of us. Uh, for two or three Christmases in a row, we used to go out caroling. Uh, just in my neighborhood, they'd all come over, we'd make Christmas cookies, and then we'd uh, watch movies at, at my house, and then we'd get bundled up and we'd just go knock door to door. Um, some years we collected canned foods to donate to the food bank. Um, most of the time we just went to Carol because it was fun. We would just knock on people's doors, um, sing a song or two, and then we'd say Merry Christmas and move on. <laughs> uh, what's next? Number seven, what is the best thing to build with snow? If you don't have any, use your imagination. Um, where I live, we have an abundance of snow usually. At the moment, it has melted. So we actually have no snow outside at the moment. Um, about a week and a half ago, we did have a few inches down. The best thing to build is definitely snow forts. Um, especially when it's like the middle of winter and you've got the snow plows going down the street every day or every other day and those huge snow banks form. So then all you really have to do is the volume of snow is there for you. You can get these piles of snow six or seven feet high and all you have to do is hollow them out. So we would make tunnels through them and kind of hollow them out. It was really safe <laughs> on the edge of our street as snow plows are going by hollowing out the huge mounds that they would leave behind. We would hollow them out and kind of make them into um, little caves or we would dig down into them to make a pit and then you'd be left with like this six foot wall of snow all around you. Um, so definitely snow forts for sure is uh, something that I always enjoy building. Snowmen are cool but snow forts are way more fun. <laughs> Um, question number eight. Oh my goodness. Gingerbread or peppermint? I don't know how to answer this question because I like both so much. Gingerbread though, I'm very picky. I only want something that tastes like gingerbread if I'm eating gingerbread. Like I don't want gingerbread coffee. I don't want gingerbread flavored anything else. Um, if I'm going to have gingerbread, I want a slice of gingerbread or a gingerbread cookie. Um, as for peppermint, I love anything minty. Mint peppermint chocolate, candy canes, um, 
I do enjoy peppermint lattes from, from Starbucks, and I do like the peppermint hot chocolate that Tim Hortons has right now. Um, so that one's a hard one to answer. I don't know. Um, number nine, show your favorite ornament. All our ornaments are currently packed away. Um, we have a separate box for ornaments because usually our Christmas decorations go up before we get a tree um, so that we don't have boxes lying around for days at a time. Our Christmas tree box is still packed. Um, I'll have to refer back to this video when our tree goes up on the weekend. Um, I think one of my favorite ornaments, and it's like the cheesiest looking ornament too, is it's a little Santa and he's wearing um, a Scottish kilt and he's playing the bagpipes. And it's the, he's the funniest looking little thing, but uh, most of our ornaments have been collected um, when we go traveling or for every vacation or holiday we go on, we pick up a Christmas decoration. And this little Santa I bought in 2012. Um, and around that time, I was just starting to kind of come out of the fog of having postpartum depression and not feeling like myself. And the spring of 2012, my brother and I flew to Scotland for a week for our cousin's wedding. And we spent a week with, with them and had a wonderful time. And it was the first time I went by myself. Well, I mean, I went by myself in that it was just myself and my brother. I didn't have um, Oliver with me. I didn't have Dan with me. I just went on my own. And it was the first time since having... Um, PPD that I really started to feel like myself again and that trip meant so much for me because I started to feel like my old self that I was kind of coming out of that period of time where everything was just miserable and hazy and gross and so I have this little, <laughs> little Santa that I think I bought at Edinburgh Castle and um, he's one of my favorites because I just remember finally starting to feel like myself again and starting to feel happy and starting to reconnect with everything and who I used to be. And um, yeah, I think he's my favorite for sure. Or one of my favorites. <laughs> um, the last question is, what is an item on your Christmas wish list this year? Um, I don't know. I, I mean, I suppose... Uh, given yesterday's video, I could say a computer, but that seems very extravagant and such a large ticket item to be asking for. Um, I don't usually have a huge Christmas list. <laughs> um, I'm just happy to spend time with people. But if I were to answer the question, then yes, I think a, a new computer, whether it be a, a laptop or a Chromebook or just even just a new tower to go with the monitoring keyboard I already have. Um, I think it would be nice to, to get back into having a computer again. <laughs> or, I mean, if we really want to be extremely extravagant, a trip somewhere hot away from the cold, because I'm not a winter person at all. So. <laughs> but in all, in all honesty, um, yeah, maybe it can, maybe a computer for sure. <laughs> so those are the 10 questions. Um, I'm going to link, uh, Cargo's, uh, Instagram and, um, YouTube channel in the description box. Make sure to go check, check her out. And I love scrolling through her Instagram. Oh my gosh. She makes really, really amazing bows and ears and I love seeing what she creates so make sure you go say hi um, and thank you so much for tagging me this is the first time I've been tagged for a Christmas video before so it was lots of fun to do um, I'd love to see someone else answer these questions as well so if you're watching this and want to take part I tag you in it and I'm going to pass this along so if you're participating in vlogmas or even if you're not doing vlogmas and want to join in, I'll make sure to list all 10 questions down below and definitely answer them and come back and leave a reply and I'll come check it out. So I have, oh, what time are we now? Hang on. It is coming up 11 o'clock in the morning. I've now been awake since about seven o'clock yesterday. So I need to go to bed <laughs> so that I can get up and go to work again tonight. So thank you so much for stopping by everyone and see you tomorrow. Bye.